I'm Dr. Gary Kohler. I'm a pulmonary critical care physician here at Lake Charles Memorial Hospital. We have many more cases this week than we had last week. The big delay in that, we had suspected cases, but we couldn't get test results back. Now we've started getting them back in a timely manner, so there's going to be more and more positive test results, more and more patients. When we suspect, we start treating right away. But if we get a negative test, that allows us to stop the treatment so we can try to conserve the medicine for people who need it and also to get those people out of the COVID units into other rooms. So certainly anyone with a cough and fever needs to seek attention and get tested. Uh, there's some data coming out of New Orleans that a, a significant percentage of patients are not presenting with fever, which is truly frightening on this end. So I would say at this day and age with what we're seeing, if anyone has persistent symptoms, they should go get tested. Uh, I think this is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, I think our cases have certainly picked up. I expect them to continue to pick up for the next two to three weeks and people just need to social distance and stay home. Well, it seems like the, the, the virus itself is very, very contagious. That's why it's been mandated that people do social distancing in an effort to so-called flatten the curve so that we can protect our resources at this point. Um, if you look at, you know, we don't have good data from this. The only real data we have is from China and we're now getting some from Europe, but it's sporadic and some from the United States. But if you look at the cases from China, roughly 80 to 81 percent of people did very well. Some people were really asymptomatic and had the infection. About 15 percent of people required hospitalization and another 5 percent required critical care, meaning initiation of life support. The mortality is from those people and at least in the China series, the 5 percent that went on mechanical ventilation, 50 percent of those died for an overall mortality of about 2.5 percent. Certainly you should only get out for necessities. You should, I mean the grocery store, pharmacy, bank, drive throughs things like that. Uh, I would not be doing any unnecessary shopping. What I've told my family and my friends is save up when you have to go. Get, make one trip, get everything at one time to limit your exposure. Certainly stay six feet of away from people uh, if you can and the few times I've been at the grocery store people have been doing that. People ask all the time about gloves and masks. Um, listen, at this, I don't think the general public needs an N95 mask but if I had a regular surgical mask at home and I was going out in public I would wear that at this point. Certainly clean your hands when you go in the store and when you leave the store. But luckily we've been meeting for weeks and doing strategic planning and have have a, what I feel is a good plan in place. We've been able to obtain adequate supplies at this point. We're not about to run out of ventilators. We do have some room problems in shuffling patients between negative pressure rooms to do procedures in an effort to protect the patient and the staff. Uh, how long would that last? You know, nobody knows at this point. This is an unknown we've never seen before. We don't know what the next several weeks bring, but I don't see it slowing down for at least a few weeks. Do, at this point, there's no good data, but they do recommend, unless you're on a what they call a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory like Advil or something, for some other reason, you should continue that. But otherwise, you should probably be treating fever with acetaminophen, Tylenol, rather than Aleve and Advil. And they recommend that if you, it has been at least seven days since your initial symptoms, and you get two negative COVID-19 uh, nasal swab PCRs collected 24 hours apart, you're good to go at that point. And certainly that probably is the best way to go now that we have access to testing. The non-testing base says if it's been at least seven days since onset of symptoms and you've been free of fever without taking medication for at least 72 hours and your symptoms are improving, that at that point you can probably resume your normal activity. Stay safe, stay strong, and stay at home.